Good afternoon. Uh, I'm here at Old Florida Day. Charlie Velasquez from Rugby in Florida. Right now with Marisa Holtz, uh, one of our female referees that we have in Florida. How are you doing? Great. You've already you. done a game, right? Yep. Uh, how, two halves. How did it go? Fantastic. Everyone's no, being great. No complaints. Well, not from oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the players. Let me tell me about your rugby experience as a player. Sure. So as a player, I um, played for life on their initial women's team. Um, I played for the Atlanta Harlequins, and then I am playing on and off with Tampa Bay Crew. So a long history. Yeah. You look so young. Thank you. Uh, how did you manage to do that? Oh, and 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 how did you come into becoming a referee? How does that happen? Yeah. So after I graduated from life and wasn't playing for them anymore, I thought that refing would help me with my rugby skills. So did it? Uh, <laughs> I'm still a terrible player. <laughs> but I understand the game a lot more. It does really help, right? Yeah. And uh, in in your experience, you, you don't ref that much, right? It's you've been no, on and off. No, typically, uh, if I'm I sort pregnant. of I, I follow you guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That, yeah, if uh, I'm pregnant, I ref. If I'm not, I'm I remember you being pregnant <laughs> in the sevens and still refing. I, I have some pictures of those. Yep. That, that was yep. pretty amazing. That's, that's dedication, because yeah. you know. Got to stay in the game. People don't really realize how dedicated referees are. Mm -hmm. You know, they just think they just show up and they. Ref. But I know you guys, you know, keep up with. Know, studying the laws, discussing all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's that's something that needs to be said. Uh, what what would you say about the level of comprehension of the laws, from generally speaking, in Florida? Um, I feel like uh, there's been a lot of law changes in the last even five years, so I think it keeps everyone on their toes. Um, so as long. It's good if the refs and the coaches and team can like kind of break down those new law changes each year. Um, so like what we did this year where we had the coaches and refs meet with yeah. a law change, I think that's really going to elevate the comprehension of understanding the laws. Do, do you, how do you manage the, at the games? Because I, I think the behavior from the sidelines, is, it, it's come better in the last years. But how do you manage that when you start listening to? Hey, no, because I don't hear it honestly. You don't? No, it doesn't bother oh. me because I'm managing a game and they're managing themselves, I guess. So, so they're just wasting their time, right? Yeah, yeah I don't really hear it. Because some of them are non-stop, like the it's whole time. Like, yeah. What is your favorite team to to ref? Well, I'm kind of partial. <laughs> uh, I do love refing well, crew because it's fun to see um, their how they advance. So then tell me which is the worst one. No, no, you don't mm -hmm. have to tell me that. <laughs> that get you in trouble. How, how, how do we get more referees in the game? Oh, man. Make rugby less fun and they'll stop playing. <laughs> That's not a good way. No, I don't know. Um, I think in, in Georgia, actually, there is a referee association that, like, if you ref so many games, you get your dues paid for, you get, like, a free kit. And so I think there's a lot more... Um, and like incentive to ref because it can kind of be out of pocket at first and so a lot of people that are you know maybe not full-time working but don't want to play rugby all the time it maybe it's a barrier with cost so but we are like in a big deficit with referees right we, yeah you really need what would you tell uh, somebody who is sort of on the sidelines thinking oh maybe I should pick up the whistle what, what would you tell them um, it's a great way to stay in the game um, and stay active within your community and Make a little extra cash on the weekend. It's not about they, the money. They though. get paid. Just people should also know that. And uh, thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. And very nice to see you Beautiful. out here. Beautiful day. Yeah, well, not the best. <laughs> not the best. Marisa Holtz from Tampa, Florida. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you.